of civilians and rebels continue to make their way out of eastern Aleppo. Today, the UN Security Council expected to vote on a resolution to monitor those evacuations. At least 65 buses carrying 3,500 people have already left. Sunday, some empty buses were set on fire. Right now, Syrian authorities are looking into who sparked those flames. And closer to home, developing now a Georgia Sheriff's de deputy recovering after being shot at a hospital. Deputies responding to a call of an active shooter at the Fairview Park Hospital last night. And once they came into contact with the suspect, he opened fire, hitting a deputy in the leg. No one else was hurt. You know, the suspect was taken into custody and all operations are back to normal at that hospital. And right now, the search is on for the driver who shot and killed a three-year-old boy in an apparent road rage attack. It happened over the weekend in Little Rock, Arkansas. That's where a grandmother was taking her two young grandchildren on a shopping trip. When they came to a stop sign, the driver behind them honked his horn because she was driving slowly, apparently. She honked back, and that's when the driver opened fire on their car, hitting the three-year-old grandson. This is the second time in, in less than a month uh, that an infant child has been shot while traveling in the vehicle uh, in our uh, city. Uh, as you can probably understand, that's very, very frustrating uh, to our police agency, as it should be uh, to our community. Mm. That little boy died at the hospital. Police are offering a $20,000 reward for anyone who provides information leading to an arrest. They believe the killer was driving in a 2003 black Chevy Impala. And down in Florida, a remarkable rescue caught on camera. A driver apparently experiencing a medical emergency, swerving out of control and slamming into a light pole. Then a group of Good Samaritans jumps in to save him. Lindsay Davis has this dramatic story. Pull over, pull over. These are the harrowing moments caught on a Florida highway. A car careens out of control, coming dangerously close to catastrophe. <laughs> What the f Watch as the driver, apparently having a medical episode, crashes through this street light and keeps going. What are you doing? Pull over! It was almost like a pinball machine. He was literally back and forth, you know, four lanes of traffic, uh, banging off of the squall. Despite highway. blown out tires, the Cadillac Dude, picks up guy, speed, crisscrossing the highway. Oh my God! Slamming oh my into God. a guardrail. Pull! You need to stop! before finally coming to a stop. Bro, you need to stop. Stop. The driver right? appears disoriented, but matter. is somehow OK. okay. Get out of Let's get out of the car. It's smoking. Come on, come on. we got to get out of the car. The car smoke. Nearly a dozen good Samaritans jump in to help. I'm a trauma nurse. If anybody can tell me what's going on. And they make sure he makes <laughs> hey, it safely to a hospital. Wow, Lindsay oh. Davis with that story. Man. Unbelievable. That could have been nighttime and nobody there to help him. Exactly. Oof. Good thing where they were yeah, there, Doug. for sure. Okay, so let's talk about here at home. Definitely better than 48 hours ago. Yeah, dramatic changes. And, uh, oh. you know, yesterday, uh, Saturday morning, just just awful yeah. with, uh, with the ice. This morning, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, mm -hmm. Fortunately, the breeze has uh, dried up a lot of the rain. And we're good to go here. We don't see any uh, dramatic swings in the weather the next several days. Uh, no big storms, no big swings in temperatures either. If there's a swing, it's going to be an upward swing. Oh, <laughs> we're good. get warmer. <laughs> so let's get started. We'll start with a time lapse from our weather bug camera in northwest Washington along Idaho Avenue. And there were some cloudy this morning uh, some high clouds and we'll see that for times today but a fair amount of sunshine as well as we look out right now you see a uh, kind of leftover some you know jet contrails out there some folks flying uh, over top the uh, Washington area but plenty of sunshine as well and we'll enjoy lots of sunshine through the day temperature wise uh, 36 kind of an average high across the viewing area well below average but it's comfortable and the winds nice and light 5 to 10 miles per hour now tonight the winds will not be a factor at FedEx when the Panthers come to town but it will be cold northerly winds 5 to 10 temperatures dropping below freezing during the game uh, definitely going to be a cold night at FedEx we wake up in the morning 20 degrees in Germantown 24 in Dale City 19 in Manassas 22 in Largo and Waldorf and 26 degrees in Washington next few days very quiet, but look at the little uh, bonus temperatures we're throwing in. Uh, for tomorrow, 40 degrees in the sunshine, 49 on Wednesday, 55 degrees on Thursday. That's a nice change. And looking ahead to this upcoming weekend on uh, Saturday evening, Christmas Eve, the first night of uh, Hanukkah as well. Temperatures 45 for high, maybe a few showers at night. And Christmas Day right now looks partly sunny with highs about 47. Let's give you a look at the next 10 days, see if anything uh, big shows up as far as extreme weather. And the answer is no. It'll be mild as through go through Thursday and fairly pleasant for the weekend. Early next week, we might even 
ease on Christmas Monday it might even hit the 60s briefly before we turn a bit colder. But again, no more signs of Arctic outbreaks anytime soon. Okay, that's all I needed to hear, Doug. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up on ABC 7 News at noon, listen up. For those of yet to purchase their Christmas gifts, we've got some important shipping deadlines ahead of the holiday. That's straight ahead after the break. It's all cold down on the beach. How you doing? My name is Specialist Tyler Chen Turner. I'm part of Alpha Company 304th ESB, stationed in Camp Humphrey, South Korea. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to my son Tristan and Frederick Merriman. I'm telling you why. Are you still waiting to change your bathtub? Bath Fitter can give you a new tub in as little as one day with their unique tub-over-tub -tub process. 